we at Baptist Health Miami Cancer Institute are so proud to have reached a landmark 1,000 patients treated with proton therapy. This clearly is a testament to the solid team that we have put in place, the vast experience that we have brought to South Florida, and the fact that we are now clearly the leading proton therapy center in South Florida with this vast experience under our belt. First time we found that there was a problem, Emma was experiencing neck and back pain. Uh, we didn't take that as a symptom as to her diagnosis now. We just took that as muscle pain or back pain. Went through a series of doctors and ended up being uh, sent to the ER. And at the ER, they did some MRIs and found that she had a brain tumor. We found out she also, on top of her tumor, was diagnosed with COVID-19. So we had kind of like a double whammy. Uh, but the diagnosis was in June, and from June till now, it's been a journey. Emma has a type of tumor called a germinoma. It is a rare tumor that arises in the brain of teenagers and young adults, and it oftentimes arises in either the pituitary gland or the pineal gland. With modern proton therapy, like that delivered at Baptist Health's Miami Cancer Institute, patients like Emma have a excellent chance of not only being cured of their brain tumor, but also being able to finish school, go on to college, have a successful job, and live independently. Today is Emma's last treatment, and I am elated, beyond blessed, and super excited for her to get back to normal. As parents, you always want the best for your children and you never expect that you would go through situations like these. But at the end, there's hope. At today's visit, Emma has successfully completed all of her treatment for germinoma. At this point in time, she is clinically NED, no evidence of disease, and now enters long-term follow-up. I don't know how I feel, to be honest. Like, I think that, like, I'm definitely excited, but I'm happy and I'm sad at the same time, because, like, I think the sad part comes in, like, because I'm, I am gonna miss Miami Cancer Institute. Like, you, you don't wanna be there when you're doing your treatment, but then when you, when you actually have to leave, you, like, wait, why am I not going there anymore? So that's the sad part of it. But the exciting part is like, once I'm done with this, I get to go back to doing things that I usually do, like going to the pool, going to school, doing cheerleading, yeah. So I'm excited about that stuff. I'm gonna say that I have four um, um, radiation techs, Anna, Keila, Steffi, and Khalid. They are my four favorite people here and of course my child life specialist. Um, I wanna say thank you to you guys because um, like you made me feel comfortable and like you didn't make me feel like scared when I was in radiation and stuff like that. So I definitely do wanna say thank you. <laughs> so while we do get a chance to deliver a very uh, wonderful treatment for patients, we also get a chance to really get to know them over that period of time. And it's really nice to see them graduate and get to go home and not have to come and see us five days a week. But it's also a little bit sad because we've developed a lifelong friendship and patients really do like to come back and visit with the team that took care of them.